William Malin here for GetMoreSports.com and working at the Vanderbilt Commodores. Uh, Kevin Stallings group is an offensive juggernaut right now because of the improvement that they've gotten uh, from a lot of kind of peripheral players. Uh, it, it's not just the Damian Jones and Riley LeChance show. Like so many people, including myself, anticipated uh, with this group. What they're doing is impressive. They're moving the ball. They're able to shoot from deep. They're able to score underneath. They're able to alter shots at the rim. I mean, that's a big thing for this team is their defense is shuttling guys in uh, in a major, major way. The defensive improvements that I've seen out of this team have been impressive because when you've got an offense as potent as the Commodores do, when you're able to score like they can score or move the ball like they can move the ball, uh, you have a chance to tire defenses out. And then when you make them work on the offensive end, that's where you really tire the defense out. That's what a lot of people don't realize is when you can get a team tired on one end of the floor, it's going to affect the other way. Uh, just the way you tire defense out on one end, their offense is going to be tired on the other. So this is what's so impressive about what the Commodores are doing right now. I look for rather the chance to have a really big kind of uh, – Coming out in the second half of the season, he's been under 10 points per game uh, starting this year off. Of course, you have Damian Jones, an NBA prospect, uh, but what this group does is best described as a unit. I mean, quite frankly, they're doing it together. Uh, and the question now is, are they the second best team in the SEC? Texas A&M has looked really strong thus far. Uh, I look at the Aggies right now as my favorite uh, to kind of challenge Kentucky for that top spot. Uh, even if I don't know that Kentucky is completely susceptible uh, to be upset and overtaken in the conference race, but I do think if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be A&M or Vandy. Uh, if Vandy wants to do it, I do think LeChance is going to have to kind of step his game up a little bit. I love the balance, but you need your stars to play their best when you want to challenge for a conference crown, especially when you're going up against a team and a program like Kentucky.